take your seats. The show is about to begin. Look, if you had one shot or one opportunity, seize everything you ever wanted in one moment. Did you capture? Junior DJ. Just let it slip. Exclusive remix. B-Boy, hit the flow with it. Up in Jamaica, let me see your heel toe with it. Clown and crump with it. A-Town stump with it. At the set, juggalettes, make they double D's jump to the house on the hill. Hell a tip drill. Paul Wild said he do me up a red grill. But the bus saluted the 5-6 field. Cody Water, he showed me a lot in this business for real storming. In Salt Lake City, performing, performing. Out of the corners before the morning, I'm touring. Leaving them torn, that's what the boys, you get the horns, then it gets with a beauty that's disforming. Misery's behind me, devil's trying to sign me. Ain't too many who don't know just who the tech not be. If she looking for something with a future so shiny, Kansas City, Missouri is where she gon' find me. What's up, everyone? Back at it again, right? 24 hours ago, and here I'm back streaming live again. Uh, funny thing is, it's the same exact map that I cast yesterday for the APL, in which Syndicate came out of Victor 5-0 against TL and Glow. Um, impressive win, right? And it got them their first W for the APL League. And today, they're going to follow that up with a much more challenging opponent in the 116th. Basically, it's a rematch of about two weeks ago when these two teams locked up on Hurricane Forest and a competitive match between both sides. And uh, I guess it was the opportunity for Syndicate to really test to see how, how good they are because, I mean, the 116th is arguably, like I've always said on every single stream I've ever cast, they're top three on a given seasonal or uh, in, in whatever league you're playing in. So they got their hands full today. Um, like I said, same same map, Utah Beach. And uh, let me just take a quick look inside and see what we have. Okay, everybody's here. Wonderful. And we have Mr. Altberg as well. He's, he's joining me. He was the guy who needs no introduction. We, know, we all know Alti. And uh, he'll be casting the 116th. So, you know, we're ready to go. And <laughs> my OBS is just wild. Look at it. I'm like robotic again but listen you're not here for me you're here for the group let's get into the live scene hopefully you know what i'm not even gonna mess with it here we go scoreboard up for you guys now i know i need to get into air apparent squad okay i was i was reminded to make sure i get into artillery 
and that's what I'm going to do today. So just waiting for the flip. 94 players in. I guess we'll do the roll call just to see who's here. Now, obviously, Water Jug is not going to be commanding, but I did previously see a Craven sighting. I don't know if he was there for the prep to help out, but I did see him. There, there's my guy, Air. I'll be with him today. Not seeing. Freezing Taz. He's going to be medic. <laughs> He's going to be slaying people with that medic. Um, yeah, there he is. There's Craven. Nice to see him back. So my, my assumption is he'll be commanding. Um, Logical Lee, who was commander for the entire time that he was not in game. Not sure where he's going to go today, but you know, we'll see what happens. Now, rolling over to the 116th side. I mean, this is the the A squad. They know that 116 knows they have to bring their best team if they're looking to, to win. And I think that's what they did. You know, Big Al, I know he's a hella tanker. Uh, Sin, AT guy. I've seen him pubbing plenty of times. Great guy. Tony, fellow caster. I'm sure he's got big things in store for a syndicate today. Uh, Kevin, Chris, two OGs. Mr. Nice. Formerly known, uh, or formerly from Core. Schmeck, former caster. Oh, he might still be casting these days. I'm not sure. Muck Schnapper, everyone's favorite. And uh, yeah, Mandini, old core guy. So yeah, one sixteenth just reloads. They're, that's what they do. It's like the transfer portal portal in football. They just kind of college football. They just they lose a couple players and they grab a couple players, but they're really never down. You know, they don't have down years, if you want to call it, or down uh, seasons. So these guys just kind of rearm. So, yeah, we'll just keep it here until we get the flip. For those that were able to catch the LLA main match, I streamed uh, week one in the APL. The kill feed will not be working for some reason. I just didn't have time between casts to make sure that I got all the bugs and all the things ironed out. So we will not be having kill feed this time. But I promise I'm going to spend a little time this week and make sure to get in our prep server and make sure it works properly. Because I think you guys like that feature. And if you don't, yeah. Let me know in comments. Say, like, get rid of that shit. We don't need it. It's a distraction. Or, yeah, it's a good thing. It's a it's a, a great added feature. Keep it going. So. So 100. That would be everybody. Assuming Matt Flip could come at any time. Just get on the ground. Yeah, and for those of you that play this map, you know the the top is WN four, which is loaded with barbed wire much like WN7 if you saw the cast from yesterday difficult to uh, recapture once they're taken chapel's a little more open but it's a very small strong point artillery will dominate and uh, as well as the tank so I think as I said in my description on this whoever has tank superiority will allow their infantry to do what they do and control sectors and hold key buildings uh so we're gonna see how that plays out i know syndicate has been itching to test their their metal against you know the mighty 116th so we'll be getting shortly we're getting start we'll be getting started shortly
bandage, man. Fuck. Hey. Yo, let me get a bandage, bro. I got you, bro. Where you at? Yo, kill switch, bro. What's up? I got no bandages, man. Can I get a bandage? Well, Come here, bro. Why do they keep shooting you? Bro, I don't know. Someone just fucking <laughs> pop me, man. It's not right. It's, it's not really right. not right. Like, literally, yeah, like... Hey, I'd get his me. papers. I'd court martial him. I got my green card, bro. Alright, so you guys, a little banter, some bullshitting going on. 25 seconds before it's all the way live. And I will remember to get an air parent squad, man. Jesus. Yeah, no. <laughs> I'm actually. He said, "Am I, am I actually playing?" Well, I enjoy casting, but I, you know, I can run. I can run, but just not yet. We'll give it a little more time. We'll eventually come around to. All right, Craven. Oh, he's squad leading today. All right, we got Fig Covenant. Yeah, I'm gonna get it right today. I don't need any problems. These guys are like, Darian, we're sick and tired of you. Take a slot. I'm like, look, I don't care right, how long it takes. I'm going to find air parent squad. And that's that. Let's just check it out. All right. Recon is going to be water jug and Stevie. Storm and Norman and bullet. Oh, there he is. There's Roger. Uh, crewman. Yeah, that's what we'll do. Crew it up. Me and the crew. All right, let's get it all hooked up. So it's a scrim. I know these guys want to win, but still going to be fun. I wish as a caster you can kind of just yell at the guys through camera, but you're completely... So anyway, this is the prep usual. Nodes... Builder Bob action. Schmick, or Smilk doing what he needs to do. Get those 60 nodes per minute. All right. Now, I'm not sure what, a, what gun a parent is going to take. He, he knows. He got, he's got this game memorized, I swear to God. But anyway, let's, let's get up to the front line. Our midpoint is Chapel, which, uh, you know what? That's a good thing, I believe. Only two passengers with Flig. I'm trying to understand. We're going to try and catch some rocket snipes, but it looks like the, the big push is coming from the, the two, or excuse me, the four. We're going to roll with Freezing Taz, and he is not medic today. Very disappointed in that, Taz. Yeah, this, this is going to be big. Hopefully they don't get sniped, but it's always interesting to, to see how the, the opening rollout performs. This is what these guys do in prep constantly. It's all about... Anyway. It's all about getting a good start. Get the optimistic, man. Wow, we got kill switch in the truck. We're getting out, <laughs> Yeah, we're driving through. Five hours. Uh, yeah, maybe. About to get started. And hang on to your butts. Hold your nuts. It's gonna be a bumpy ride. Man, we better hope these guys arrive to the destination. I don't like this, I don't like this. <laughs> I know we Nor. This. Positive thoughts. That's it. Say some positive well, affirmations. Snap, it's got too much time. <laughs> It's all love for the muck. But to be fair, he hit how many snipes? One? Uh-oh. Two. Alright, this is the fucking moment. The next fucking six seconds determine whether or not we live or die. Gent, 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 gent. Words. We're looking for that rocket. Do we see Watch anything? Like, yeah, okay. Oh, yeah. Testing yeah, yeah. in the sky. Come. There's one. Look at the flowers. Missed that one. They were able to disengage from the transport truck. 
kill the, the already dead cow just to make sure he's dead. Let's fucking go. No, Nor's pumped. He's feeling his shit. Here we are. Loading up. This is Grandpa's house. Let me unlock from this. This is just disgusting. Let's get right into the point. Chapel. And just like you expect, shit is already popping off. 116 looking really solid off the jump. Rocket sailed by Flig up on top of the transport, just trying to catch one of those light tanks. Now, early cap progress by 116th has now almost been neutralized by Syndicate, and they're starting to pull it even. Yes, sir. We have... A 116th light tank holding their lane with Fetty. Tony, my, my. Now you could just tell if you guys, this is grandma's house, everybody knows, you better check to see if grandma's home. Jump with Iron Ranger, he had a hell of a day last time against these, these 116 fellas. Let's see if he can duplicate that. Nord's getting the clap on Postal. As you can see, progress has been neutralizing slightly now, moving toward the Syndicate favor. The hard cap itself is where it's at. For those that don't know much about comp or the game in general, watching for the first time on the stream, inside the strong point itself, your body counts for three. And that's why, and these guys, Athens, Nah, Hans, they count Three bodies times three, so that's nine. That's a weight of nine. The opener to me is honestly the most important part. I don't know what the win rate is when a team gets mid on Utah Beach, but I'm gonna tell you it's probably in the 90 percentile range. That's super important. I'm trying to try and swing around. One sixteen artillery decimates that spawn. That syndicate spawn. Huge, huge artillery. Prankster gets one in on the looks. We got Hazlitt repairing him, just being a simp, just doing what he does. Very important role, believe it or not. Great back and forth action. I know you guys at home are watching the seesaw battle for this midpoint chapel. Such a smart play. 116 rolls the looks right in, basically bringing the guy like an Uber to the front door. Now the little guy goes dead, not sure from what, was it the, yes, the Syndicate tank is still in the house, their, their, their light, Stuart takes out the looks, Syndicate really needs to get bodies into the strong point, they need to stop cat progress, they've just done it now, but they're not able to hold on to it. 16 is really strong in the strong point. Let's 
Syndicate's trying their best to just hang on, hang on. Fight for another spawn wave, that's what I say. Up to the north, where Kill Switch is, that house. At some point, you're starting to go, alright, we need to have OPs ready. All squad leaders know that the moment the point flips, whatever you've had that was in sector will disappear, will be destroyed, and you have to replace all OPs. Unbelievable. You know, this is what you expected. You knew two great teams coming together. Syndicate's able to contest temporarily, then they're back to losing. Now they're gaining. I think that light tank that we have here, manned by Na, Hans, Athens, is going to be huge. If they can keep that little up without this Panzer IV coming around, maybe they have a call out because the Panzer IV is moving up. And if he can get an angle... Whoa! What? Do they have an AT gun up somewhere from the back? That was huge! That I don't know if that's going to turn the point. Yes, it is. Look, guys, look. The point is now turning Syndicate's way. That's how powerful that tank was. Not only does it take infantry out, but you're times nine with the crew. So that's a big help for Syndicate. Now it's going to come down to perhaps some artillery from Air Apparent. If he can get some timely shells... Falling on um, spawn waves from one, uh, 116. You know, what we were saying in the in the pre-match, allow your art or your infantry squads to get into key. Oh my god, and that's exactly <laughs> That's what air apparent should be doing to the 116th. Just amazing spots. Just just destroying. Any spawns that come up. Man, this is... Now, is hearing a little bit of bombing run action. That is a 116 bombing run. Where, where, where? Let's pull up top. Let's see. Okay, not super effective on the bombing run. Now, Syndicate does have theirs... They're, they're choosing to hold on to it. Whoever the commander, which I don't want to pull out right now to see who the commander is, but... Man. Smack the one with... Takes out two. Takes out kill switch. Gets the OP as well. Big play. STG got smashed, boy. He is just on a tear. Takes down three plus an OP. Huge play in the strong point. Oh, Renegade, you're gonna... Oh, Renegade, oh, yeah. Oh, last bullet. Are you kidding me? <laughs> oh, he missed his shot. And it was Muck. Oh, my God. Muck is gonna revel and relish in that. Easy clap, hmm? Satchel, not sure. Which side had the satchel? Syndicate just throwing bodies at this point, trying to gain or or pause temporarily the cap progress, and then from there maybe push out of the strong point and try and control the sector without getting wrapped. But it's it's definitely tough sledding. You got this whole group of 116th that just freshly spawned in. Destination, the chapel. A lot, Kev. Now, S syndicate bomb run. Yes, sir. South, north to south. You know, use it or lose it type thing. 
going to buy some time. Again, doesn't destroy. Bombing runs do not destroy OPs. Biggest complaint I have other than the recon flares. How? It doesn't make sense. But anyway, this definitely looks like it's going to be 1 16th point in about a few seconds. And at this point, Syndicate is already conceded. Boom, there it is. 3-2 off the rip. 116 goes up. 3-2. Now, always per usual, we got line, a line of offensive garrisons. We have two defensive garrisons on AA battery, our fourth point. A couple little pieces to the south. Again, big fight over Grandma's house. And, uh, yeah, this is after a hell of a fight. I mean, look, that was a good 12... 12 minute fight over over a midpoint. I mean, awesome back and forth action. Muck getting in an OP. Now it's 1 16th's turn to kind of do the cleanup. Mop out all the OPs, make sure a strong point is clear. And then eventually push sector out. So after an intense opening, the little calm to reset. This is where the artillery guns are getting repositioned because, well, somewhat repositioned. Wicks with the kill on Salat. Again, supporting your infantry, just not shelling the, the point proper because most likely there's not going to be a ton of defenders because you'll lose map control. So artillery is basically in command chat saying, please give me spots, I need spots. Now, kill switch has been able to get in to the chapel itself. Now, does he have a satchel? That's the question. What is he interested in doing? He's peeking. Trying to sweep the, the church. Just making sure he can clean anything out. So he's going to hug it up in there real tight. And allow Flig, Bam, Smurf. He's like, hey guys, church clear. Let's go. Let's stack the building. And then have air apparent shell to the west. If he can get call outs. Shell the creek. Shell the bridge. Kill switch getting the kill on. Was that muck? Perhaps another one goes dead for 116. Rocket turns kill switch into mincemeat. Allied air, or excuse me, supply drop in the distance. But again, I think for now, the chapel will be a second, a second thought. Now it's about, let's get some map control. Area to the north, grandma's house. Now that's it, that area is important. And then there, there are a cluster where you just see right here. I was gonna say, this is another important piece that you must control. Tank, uh, transport truck, bunch of infantry. Widow sees it. Again, you need to control this area south of Chapel and the, in the area north where Abel is, freezing Taz, where I'm at. Now, Noor, on the other side of Hedge, doesn't see Hannibal. Freezing Taz, though, gets the clap. And because we're lucky enough to be in the artillery squad, we get to, I guess, preemptively find out where the artillery strikes are being spotted. So we're going to get to know kind of like real time. Yeah, we've got artillery targeted for the church chapel.
Axis supplies. Probably prepping for the next point just to throw them up there. I do want to see map just to, once again, it's it's AA battery. Uh, pretty, I wouldn't say easy point to hold, but it's not a, a very difficult one. I'm just curious to see if and when 116th decides to go for that point up to the north. You know, the key to getting towards 1AA will be to secure WN4 to the north, which is the cattle sheds up where we see Iron Ranger. So if they can place a front door garrison, then AA batteries in play. Good shooter in chaos here today. You know, they should just give us ladders in this game. Make things a whole lot easier. Make a spawnable ladder kit. <laughs> I'm gonna park it right here. This looks like it could be very interesting. Recon already or recon flare going off above Kill House. Getting that shot on Enix. I mean this is the advantage right here you're seeing of firing from elevated positions with a flat taking kill switch down like this building. This is why grandma's house is so damn important. Yeah, this guy is just gonna rack up the, the kills. Now, even though transport truck went went down, I believe they can still mount or mantle up on top and get onto the roof. Another point that's very... There's a house to the north. This little bit of real estate. This is, again... A choke point, I think this is about your only way to break through into, and logically is our commander today. Very hard to attack AA battery from this position. One MG can basically lock this up. So I'm wondering when Syndicate gets that guy over there because, you know, look, that's a full squad. Lucky Gummy squad. So you better be careful, Syndicate. If, you, if you're not careful, they will try and leak. And then, if you have nobody in the back, I mean, the commander is back there, but he's preoccupied with kind of managing the map. This is going to be a bit of a problem. I mean, I mean, it could be a problem real soon. Keep our eye on that. really no way around it. You must go into the fire. Here in bombing run, one more. Who's? 116's bombing. Where are we bombing? Are we bombing the point behind us? It's an interesting... Interesting bombing most of the open field. I don't know, maybe they got a call with the garrison. That's the only thing I can think of. We will pull the... Uh, camera down south, see how the trenches down south are doing.
So Paradox, Widow, squad leading today. So, not much cover, so these little... Yep. MNU knows it. He's just gonna sit there and just pick them off one by one as they come across now. Excel, Spirit Corps gentleman, has made his way to the south, because we are here south, southwest. See you next live, Zimmy. Claps OP, Excel. So where are we? We're just south, like I said. Uh, precision strike about to hit. Let's see if that is... Perhaps it already went off. We have Tiger Tank. And nobody's home. So kind of how it was yesterday, there's that intense period, and then there's always a lull. There's the setup, or the, the prep period. Then we'll probably see another uh, combined push. I'm gonna guess probably about a good 15, maybe 20 minutes from Syndicate. So right below us, we've got Chapel moving direct west, or should I say east, towards the water. I guess this group here is going to try in 116th KLA, trying to establish garrison perhaps underneath, so, so, below AA battery. And they'll use the, the creek Slight bit defilade. But Mick is smart enough to know that's probably where they're coming. He gets clapped in return by uh, Waragon. I think once you have these two teams that are, you know, so good, so evenly matched, it doesn't seem like a whole lot's going on. But trust me, when you get on, boots on the ground, and start running around, it's real intense. Using the smoke as concealment. Artillery is just so powerful. So, you can already anticipate this is what 116 wants. They want this area south of network. Yeah. They're going up against a syndicate garrison. Of 
call that the lead seven six is out trying to find space This is where squad leaders are probably communicating if they're getting shit on with artillery. You know, it's not stat padding, it's probably giving you an indication where the next attack is coming from. Like flaunts up high, getting OP. You know, 116th is clearly having the better of the gun battles right now. 30 minutes into the match. They look like they're firmly in charge right now. Our 7-6 is just going to hang back and guard the hill. I believe that's hill 5. Now, Big L I said he was a tanker, not today. Out there running that MG. Okay, we're ready. Here it is. Fight for Hill 5. Paradox launching AT rocket. Now, artillery has been called in on this spot. So, count 20 seconds and expect shells to land. There's our first one. Uh, we have something. Did we just peep? Just peep a light tank? KLA getting the rap, getting the clap on the OP along with McFlaunt. And that's what you got to guard against, getting wrapped. You always got to keep that one MG or somebody back. Because now you're fighting them on two fronts. Because you got MNU to the front, and now you got to deal with McFlaunt to the rear. These guys are getting pinched. Smurf's doing the right thing. It's getting deep. Now while we have a Sans, why don't we see how the live player Florian, I'm assuming, is the artillery for 116. He's got 70 kills already. I mean, you saw off the beginning <laughs> he was taking full squads out on Chapel. I mean, just sick with it. Bam takes down. Say that's a, a Puma. And for those that don't think artillery is a little OP in this game, that's just that's just the result of one gun. <laughs> Imagine having all three firing with an unlimited supply of munitions. We're gonna pull back now. We've got defensive tank Bebo, a Valley Badger. Let's see if we can get in. Hear a little bit about what they're saying. Now, this is what I'm talking about. They're just holding angles. Just holding angles. Anything, infantry, tanks that come across there, line of sight. And you can just see in the distance, that's the chapel. So they're going to splash anything remotely close that spawns.
guarding OP. Nice and postal. Now, that's the thing. The only place to get out of this is through that choke point. So I think that's what Stevie's doing. He's guarding that crater. Using the flare to help him out, which is just going off now. So I think Nice and Postal are going to change up their tactics. Just probing to see, you know, where Syndicate might be weak. Now, right below us. You can hear him purring. There's our tiger. Just picking bushes. So one of those tanks just went down. Oh, nice. We got a little bit of a tank engagement from long range. And there he is in the distance. Bebo, Badger. That's the that's the lanes I was talking to you earlier about. Holding lanes. Whole squad, whole tank squad's out repairing. Now this, I think, would be a wise thing if... You can coordinate that after you get a couple rounds in on your tanks. Relay information up to command saying we've got a probably a tiger repairing two or three shots in. Let's get that P strike on him and finish him off. And like new. They're back in. How are we doing? Looking further south. Yeah, Cindy is really not that concerned right now from the south of getting in. Maybe they're just not interested right now in loading up this area. Because you can clearly see outside of Excel, who's the lone squad leader, Syndicate is really too concerned about the south. STG, man, is just so dominant. It's 116 does a great job of getting around you. Once they know your eyes are fixated on the target north, those guys do a great job of flanking around. Coordinated teamwork. That's why they're so good. I mean, they're so consistent. Satchel. Now, I think the 7-6 was there. Did I miss the Satchel? I want to say yes. Big L, I think, were... Uh, do. Both level 9 assault probably had uh, a Satchel... Tank was un unguarded. Not sure. Maybe, maybe the infantry got clapped off and they just got overwhelmed. But that's a problem. Let's see the fuel situation. 60, obviously, always, but we need 600 for a heavy and we're at 450, so yeah. Fox 
engineer. Look out for this guy. Definitely hears the rep station. Claps OP. Iron Ranger with the big save. Bebo saying, thank you, bitch your ass. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> Iron Ranger smart. Just keeping the 76 up. You cannot afford to go down. 276 is against the 116. You will not do well. You will not fare well. But here's the thing. They don't know there's more than just one guy. That's not a solo mission. That's an entire squad from Pan looking for the 76. Why 76 is repositioning, but if he's not careful... Ooh, I thought I just saw a round fly over the top of the 76. In full retreat. Finding some hard cover. Probably in the distance. Yes, sir. That was the shot that sailed over the top of the 76. Now, if Paradox was able... No, I was going to say, if he was able to get that OP, he's in the, he's in the area, but... Yeah, these guys, these 116 guys are just everywhere. Now, rocket shot. I'm not sure if it got OP. I think Syndicate might have got the, the jitters kind of out of the way because they were looking a little shaky about 15 minutes ago about the 30 minute mark when 116th was pressing the point where you see Paradox just get vaporized that's Hill 5 but you can see the Syndicate has now improved their position you know obviously everything is the goal which is the midpoint chapel but they're slowly starting to push the 116 line back. Only problem is <clears throat> you got this group of 116th with Pam being your squad lead. Got to get rid of them. Nick better be careful. He's outgunned. And Nick rushing in. Pan just waited for him. Yep, and Noor heard it. He said, where is he? He's got that AT rocket ready. Noor, a fine shooter. But Pan is waiting. Noor's trying to hoop, hook around. Oh, they're going to see each other. Oh, brilliant. He's just... He's just waiting. So in the meantime, while all that's happening to the south, here's your front door. And I told you, look, this would be the hard point to get through. These guys, you know, making their way through the choke point. There's no MG sit sitting. There is tank in the back. So I think with Earl Grey and Robert, okay, MG Robert back there. Okay. I think they'll be fine. Yeah, you can just see. Look how shitty this is. Yeah, no cover. You got a little bit of defilade here and there. But you're not gonna... You're not gonna mount up attack with any kind of significant numbers from the top of the three. Now, Robert, yeah. Viking might have taken him out. Yeah, if AA Network falls, it's not going to fall from that three. If you're lucky enough to get...
if you can get in from the northeast. But again, tank positioning so key, holding those lanes. Tank knows exactly where the infantry wants to go. Anticipates well, but he didn't get everyone. So we're looking at a full squad. KL squad and second squad leader. Gonna hang here for a little bit. This could get interesting real quick. If they two there's two squad leads, so you've got as many as twelve guys potentially in the strong the strong point. And two have mentored. And we're starting to see cap progress. So Big L, Postal, Kale. That instantly forces Gray to move. Vikings probably on the way soon. But this this is this is significant. This is gonna be a problem. Where do, we, where do we have garrison? What are we looking at here? Bombing run. Okay, we caught that. Um, there is garrison unlocked. Two garrisons. They're, they're, pos they're positioning on their garrisons are just fine. But they definitely need, syndicate needs to fold some of the guys off the front line. This bombing run should be successful. I believe it's going to get this group. Any second should be landing. It's full retreat, full defense, roll the tanks over, give up your position. Now, the counter is coming, you can hear it. 116 is also bombing, I'm pretty sure. And this, you can just see, a, a, a much more effective bombing run. Takes out four or five guys. Probably got the garrison as well. And now we're going to add insult to injury. We're going to throw up the artillery. Nope, that is heir apparent's artillery. He's got the trench zeroed. see if they were able to destroy the garrison it does appear it was it's been replaced viking was able and that's the thing when you guys hold the defensive point you're just gonna stack your supplies even if it goes down on a bombing run a perfectly placed one at that there's so many supplies just to rebuild again it would be much more difficult if you knew your op was going to be gone and then you'd be starting somewhere else but i digress <laughs> All right, our little guy. Let's see. He's just gonna try and clap whatever's on the strong point itself. Postal got satchel. Oh, he! Sh what a nice job! He sprayed. Hit, hit the shed. Splash damage kills him. Smart play. Very smart play by the by the Stewart. Do a quick little 360 pan around. He looks good. Point is secure for now. They do have to push the sector clean. I think it's in moments like this where you need to transition. You gotta, gotta know how big of an attack and maybe you counter to that if you're in a position to do that. And it's interesting how the, for people that don't really pay attention to comp, Chapel 
our midpoint was hotly contested for such a long time. And this is the goal ultimately for syndicate. And yet skeleton crew, just one MG that, that speaks to the importance of map control. And they'll leave one tiger tank, one MG. And one sixteenth is clearly transitioned to attack mode. I guess they feel like we've got syndicate on their heels and they don't they don't have the opportunity to divert any of their forces to anything but defending. They're trying to even think about attacking right now. working those trenches gonna pop out go to the choke point now big l has his mg set up with a squad leader elevated positions basically spotting for the kill zone which is this open field where giga death is confident covering this whole area pinning basically syndicate to the hedgerows i think ultimately they were just they'll eventually roll their tanks i think once they've stacked enough fuel resources and can begin to bring their tiger. I think it's coming. I think it's just eh, maybe a few minutes away. Saw back and forth. Remember how earlier I was saying Syndicate pushed 116 back and had control of Hill 5. Now 116 is back in the kitchen cooking. P strike. On the 7-6. Here's it. And doesn't get out of the way. Stuka for the win, eh? Takes out the 76, and now it's a jailbreak. That was the big. I mean, that was the key they needed to unlock the door. Look at it. It's a free-for-all. Now it's a race to get across. The open field, get into the building, compound. McFoss is having a day, guys. You see this guy? He's just unstoppable. Now, Data, Iron Ranger, just getting camped now. Just below us, we've got slowly get into the scene. We've got some sort of we've got a 76 coming up. Again, it's best that. 76 days in open field that he gets close to that compound. He's not sure what's lurking in there for him. So he's just going to keep himself out in the open. Keep his eye on the compound. 
Nick's gonna go in there and try and shake the hornet's nest a little bit. Now we'll keep an eye on this because you know the the one sixteenth is slowly getting in deeper and deeper. And now if they can gain this compound to the south. They're already putting a hell of a lot of pressure on the front. We can see. 1 16th is not in a good position. Cap is already starting again, second time. Yeah, I don't think, I'm not even sure if there's an awareness of how, how many. They beat off two attacks, but. Syndicate flare going up, gonna give us an idea. Garrison situation is so good. They, they really need to get that front door to keep keep the dogs from just piling in. Yeah, defensively, Who's ever making the calls needs to let air parent know like now hit the strong point proper and I think we're getting a couple rounds yes target is up fresh full healthy spawn wave coming in it's not how you want to live. It's not how you want to live, but I think I want to say optimistically with artillery, with that fresh spawn wave, they have a chance of beating back 116, but no guarantees. 116 floodgates are open. And right now, once. 116th owns the strong point. Another fresh wave. This is 116th, I want to say. Syndicate has everybody respawning back in the sector. So they're putting sector weight on versus 116th putting strong point weight. Yeah, it's going to be a mad dash. Bodies will be... Not sure if they're going to be able to hold it. This is going to come down. This is going to be very, very, very close. They're about a few seconds, I want to say. Not much. Now, we're going to park it right here. I do believe it's going to flip, and it does. It does flip. It does go 4-1 to 116. But if 116 really, really wants this point, they got to go all in. They got to go all in to keep it, and you can see... That's exactly, exactly what they're doing. And that's not my ping, boys. I'm telling you, I didn't ping that. <laughs> I didn't do that. Yeah. 116th wastes no time. Gets the cap and instantly transitions to get to these points. Get that map control. And at the same time, look, brought up tanks to support beautiful combined arms in clinic, honestly. Now, Syndicate's not out of this point, but they definitely, definitely, definitely don't have a lot of time to waste. I mean, they've got plenty of time in the match, but again... Allow your opponent time to set up a defense, put up garrison on the point proper. We're starting to see Syndicate gain the strong point. Now I'm hearing, is that, I think that might've been just recon going off, but in the distance, Beautiful artillery round by air apparent. It's going to help the cause quite a bit. 
Great call out. This... Yeah, I don't want to... I want to say, yeah, they got to keep shelling the area just north. Another round goes off from air. Nice resilience. I mean, Syndicate didn't roll over and just say, shit, we went down 1-4. We're screwed. No, they didn't. They, they'll fight you to and nail to the end. Colt goes down. Bombing run for sure. Not, not a Syndicate bombing run. A 116th bombing run. Lots of good stuff here. Excel gets clapped. Doesn't see the squad lead spawning from behind. The two-manned Tiger tank. They lost one of the crew members. So lucky already strikes somewhere. Nobody home on that one. 116th is trying desperately to get out of the way of this artillery barrage coming in. It's trying to find some cover in the sheds. Yeah, the point is still a toss-up. It is not secure by any means. Now that might be a deep OP. German supplies coming down for perhaps a backup garrison. But they don't have one on the point proper now. But the one factor that's missing right now for this point is the Syndicate does not have a 76 to contend with this Tiger. I'm not seeing it anywhere on the field right now. Artillery just still doing its job. It has been. It looks like they've been uprooted, and the march goes on for 116th. I mean, look at these guys. They smell blood. I mean, these guys just don't quit. They just keep coming, and they're on their route. They're pushing allies to get right back to the beach, into the water. Red Roof House, our fifth and final. Yeah. Splitting them in half. I mean, Robert's going to do his best to not allow him to wrap. 76. Probably getting fired on by the Tiger tank that's on the point. AA battery. Another flare from 116. Trying to be a star. Almost made it. Yeah, getting across this open field. All right, let's go back to the... Let's look for the main attack, which is probably... Well, that little cluster 
where 76 once used to be. It's now owned by uh, 116, which also happens to be the area just north of Hill 5. Again, Hill 5 is now the launch point for the last point, which is Red Roof. Red Roof House. So, the noose is tightening. Syndicate is having a difficult time holding their flanks. They're probably a little low on fuel. Let's check. Actually, not dire, not bad. Garrison situation is... They've got an entire line. So, still pretty good. We just crossed the one hour mark. Scores 4-1. I think I think Syndicate can hold on. This last point is very difficult, obviously, because of all the open field. So we do have a moment to just kind of go over those stats one more time to see who's doing what on the Florian with 144 now. Air Parent with 87. Slightly more effective. I'd say quite a bit. Almost doubles him in, in kills. Robo, our MG, Covenant, our squad leader. Yeah, it's a, it's a mixture of... But... Definitely 116 has a slight edge in kills. bounces shell off of the 76. 76 is going to stay pinned there. Trying to get a rep station up, as you can see. Yep. Engineer will build that in a second. They're going to need more guys. If they... Syndicate needs a little more guys to hold the north flank. I know Stevie and Enix are out there reconning it. Well, that tank's on an island. They're gonna need, and guess what's, guess what's coming to town? You smell, you smell it coming. I, I hear the hunter. Get ready! Wow, did he just shoot the ground? What? The, the, oh, he had he? Tell me he had he loaded up and the rep station. Shoot. Tiger hunts, gets its prey. And takes out the rep station for fine measure. And to the rear though, we do have a, a squad that snuck in and freezing Taz. Zimmy a little short on the rocket. Then gets taken down. Tiger hung him out. Did the job. Now if he can get back to safety and repair. Huge play. Wow. Takes out everyone except for the squad lead. Squad lead now gone. Probably got OP. Iron Ranger trying to get the long distance rocket shot. So slick. Pulls it in between the barbed wire. Gun faced to the front. Nobody's gonna creep up behind the satchel. Driver, good job. Yeah. Just great teamwork. I mean, these guys, 116 does a fine job identifying targets. And then combined arms, just... Yeah, MG-40 
two. Just gonna rip into the syndicate players. Nowhere to run, nowhere to hide. Look at that. That's beautiful. Textbook. Covering fire. Infantry's moving up. Reposition. Let's see. We're going to stick with the MG. He's probably going to go plant it over here on the other side of the fence. And, you know, same old rinse repeat. Nah, he's probably like, I got a little too much cover. Or not enough cover <laughs> to hide. Maybe he does. I think, yeah, he does. Look at that. Allowing Kev. Colt. Johannes. Seven six peeking out, wondering what the hell is going on here. Hearing, hearing those tracers, those MG five. Is that tank? What he's wondering what it is. I don't know if this is a good idea, but they're gonna give it a run. Cav against many. Hiding behind a rock. Jesus, getting... That's the DMG. Oh, my goodness. The MG to the rear. The guy who was just posted up is just mowing them down. And we've got a critical sector capture. This is crazy. I, I, I've been caught up in the MG fire that I didn't even realize fourth point was being taken. A 116 bombing run. Wiping out... A large portion of syndicate players. Final cap progress is started on the house. So we're a little back and forth. We're going to take a look over at AA. Yeah, strong point looks good. They're taking back. AA network 116 seems to have that under control. You know. Couple heavy punches thrown, but nothing, nothing, nothing like a knockout yet. They're still holding on. There's only 15 minutes remaining in the match. I mean, I'm, I'm sure they want, you know, a 3 2, even if it's a loss. Yeah, 116th is trying to get the finish. They're definitely going for the finish. You know, and look, this push that's coming from the beach. Lots of... Lots of areas to hide. Nick getting the better of that. Big L comes and cleans him up. Garrison on the point proper. Widow gets Big Al. I tell you, McFox is just, just having a day. Just up and down and all around. Just killing it today. Widow does succeed in clapping him off for a moment, but he'll be back. Better go get those, those OPs. They'll be right back. I hold my beer. I tell you. <laughs> yeah, Pen. Getting deep and underneath. Widow hears. He saw him there once. Widow's got the high ground. He has to see him. Nice shot. Saw him. Takes him out. High ground. Super important. To the AA network, or excuse me, the AA battery. I mean, it's 
Not too much. Again, looks like our snipers to the north are just not allowing. I mean, we do have some light armor, I believe, up top. I thought I saw a creep by. But we're going to kind of just stick around the point proper red roof. coming off the beach. Most likely in defense. I don't think he wants to push the front line. There's tigers out there and he don't want anything to do with it. Again, I think if 116th is trying to close the, the show, artillery along the beach cleaning out the trenches yeah we're seeing it area behind the strong point I'm trying to get garrison maybe they've got a, a spot for the garrison maybe, maybe pan figured it out Slight adjustment of that artillery, that, that garrison's gone. Now Pan and Widow had been exchanging pleasantries. Again, if you don't get that OP, the black shooter is about to go. Oh, it comes around. Oh my goodness, this artillery is next level. I mean, this guy deserves a medal for the for the amount of artillery kills. Timely artillery kills at that. I have to show the stats again because it's just crazy. He must be like at 150 or more. This guy's at 168. Damn. 170. I mean, he'll. I think he'll get over 200 by the end of this match if he keeps this up. Let's see how the AA battery looks. Always try to spread the love. Trying to do a little bit more of the defensive, just not frontline stuff. I think Viking claps Kev. Fig and Bebo. Man. Colt gets OP. Not sure the squad leader. Might have been Bebo's OP. And he's, you know, backtracking. Gets another OP. Colt. Finishing up the job, perhaps. Needs Bebo. Gets Bebo. Wow. Johannes gets Viking. And this is just great individual skill. These guys, 116th, are on display today. We got a little looks, soloed, and that one little tank is going to hold up an entire squad to the north. Now, Nor, oh my god, did he hit, did he hit the, oh my god, I think, nah, did he flub that? No. Oh, shizzle, my dizzle. Man. Earl Grey getting clapped, too. Dizzle's like, come see me. My goodness.
Let me lay down. Let me catch my breath. It's a long way to get to the beach. Oh, peace. Just... No, you got him, Ranger. He was super close. So, Garrison. There we go. A syndicate garrison. Smartly placed. Good position. Looks is without a crew member, so that thing is just an easy kill for Iron Ranger if he wants to waste a rocket on. No! It's not empty. My goodness. Will he... He won't. So, do we stick around? No, we don't. We're rolling. Let's bring it back over to the house. Oh, my goodness. Big old party, and Syndicate wasn't invited. Jesus. Look at this. This is, I want to call it, this is GG. Where are our garrisons? Almost completely locked out. Do we have one on the beachhead? No, we got one to the south. Mm -mm. I mean, this 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 could be, and most likely will be, GG in the next minute to minute and a half, unless something spectacular happens from the syndicate side. All the guys up north. Well, that looks was need to get redeployed down south. Nobody wants to lose 5-0. Bombing run on the way. Under a minute. Commander dead on the beach. Athens and the crew. Last minute ditch effort trying to save it. I think he just got wasted. Not sure from what. Strafing mud for good measure. This is good night. Good night, Irene. Wow, an impressive fashion. 116. Boy, they showed out today, man. They really, really played well. Um. Syndicate, for the most part, was in the game, but, I mean, clearly, 116th showing its dominance. These guys are prepping, getting ready for seasonal, which kicks off, I believe, in April. But, wow. There you go. A 5-0 and just a little under the max one hour and 90 minutes. 116 impressive. Closes the show. Run some numbers for the stat junkies. You know, nothing, uh, nothing jumping out, you know, um, but for. And let's get a final tally because this, this gentleman, Florian, 180 kills on artillery. I think that was a huge factor. Huge factor in today's win for 116. We we'll just get a, we got a little more time to roll through. Man, very impressive today. Florian, there he is, just just absolutely a, a, a difference maker. I'll say he 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 was a huge difference maker. Not not to say anything about the one sixteenth infantry. They they played spectacularly as well. But uh, that artillery was huge in so many key moments. So. Wow. I was hoping for a little bit more of a competitive match, but you know what? Today, 116 proved its, its dominance still over Syndicate, and Syndicate still has some work to do. I thought there were some bright spots along the way, but they'll watch their VODs. They'll, you know, watch mine, uh, mine and Mr. Altberg's uh, casts and kind of break film down and try and figure out if it was a skill or if it was a planning, strategic, you know, tactical error, like what they're, they're going to sit down and get it right, hopefully. Um, but, you know, it's a scrim, maybe, maybe not the, the A roster, but you don't make excuses, but you're just trying to see, you know, 
can you compete with the with the elite? And the answer is not right now. So anyway, you guys, like you heard yesterday, it's all about supporting your casters. It's all about getting eyeballs on on what we're doing here. The more we grow the competitive scene together, uh, and I'm talking for the communities, I'm talking uh, for the for the streamers, everybody wins. So make sure you help out, like, uh, comment, subscribe, notification bells on all of that good stuff. Hang on a minute. Let me just get in here. So yeah, hit that up for me if you wouldn't mind. Uh, it was a pleasure doing it for you guys. Say hopefully you enjoyed the the cast, and uh, we'll catch you on the next one whenever that is. You guys have a great night or great afternoon. See you later.